I'm joined by Joanna Haig and Tim Jackson. Welcome to the Night of Ideas. Uh, Joanna, Joanna, inspire and provoke me. What's your view of Earth today, of our planet? Of, of today or the planet? The planet. Um, the planet is in a very uh, worrying state. So we're now in a situation where the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, which is coming from human activities, is higher than it has been since three million years ago. And it's having a, a huge effect on the global temperatures. And if we don't do anything about it, there's going to be any number of awful consequences which are already beginning to show up in terms of heat waves, floods, forest fires, biodiversity reduction, and, and any number of other things. Uh, Tim Jackson, you are a Professor of Sustainable Development at the University of Surrey. What can we do to ameliorate this situation? Uh, There's an interesting um, thing about climate change and indeed about the loss of biodiversity and, and the pollution of the ocean with plastics and all of those things is that you start by thinking about the planet, about the, the problems of the planet and what you always end up at actually is what kind of society we should be trying to be and and is it okay to continue to be the kind of society that's polluted the ocean ex made 60 percent of the other species on the planet extinct and is busy destroying its own habitat and and <laughs> When you put it like that, it's obviously not. So you have to kind of, you have to kind of think a little bit more deeply. And, and to me, that's the fascinating thing that this is a moment of threat, but it's also a, a huge opportunity, really, to, to to rethink what it means to be human, to rethink what we mean by social progress, and in fact, to live a better kind of life than the one that we've been sold as a kind of hyper financialized consumerist dream of more and more forever for the lucky few and desperate poverty for the poorest in the world. The statistics are depressing. The picture of society that you paint and how we've been headed over the last 60, 70 years is depressing. Is it too late to change, Joanna Haig? Um, it's getting more and more difficult, but if we act now, um, then perhaps we can avoid the worst of the scenarios that uh, are predicted to happen. So we've got to essentially peak our CO2 emissions within the next few years and get to half by about 2030 and zero emissions of CO2 by the middle of the century and in that way we can avoid going above about one and a half or two degrees in global warming. We, have, we, we just have a very, very simple guiding overarching question and, and it's this, what can prosperity possibly mean on a finite planet? And it can't just mean having more and more and consuming more and trashing the environment. It has to mean something else. And that's a, that's a task that we can explore. It's in, in, in a way, it's what gives me hope out of this otherwise dark situation, is that we have the opportunity actually to reconceive what it means to be a person, reconceive what it means to be a community, live differently as a society, work towards a relationship with the planet that is no longer trashing it, and in the process, find a better life. That's our, that's our aim. It's a very, not a very ambitious one, but it's, uh, it's one that kind of... <laughs> Crucial one. <laughs> kind of, well, it keeps us busy and it, and it gives us a sense of hope, which is actually, interestingly, the core of the word prosperity is, is the word, the Latin word for hope. You've given us great hope tonight. I hope you enjoy your panel and sharing the ideas. And thanks very much for coming to the French Institute to do that on the Night of Ideas. Joanna Haig and Tim Jackson, thanks very much. Thanks. Bye-bye.